the coach said, it sounds like you're probably going to go in tonight. It's been a while. How do you prepare after the layoff like that? I think just keep it simple. I think really, I mean, when you haven't been in in a while, I think it's just a mindset, really. I mean, uh, these guys do a great job. My body's ready to go. Um, really just a mindset to keep it simple. You know, do what you can to help the team. Okay. I say, when, you, when you signed here, did you envision anything like this? I mean, are, you know, how did you prepare yourself for a season where you knew you might not be in the top six and, and you know, might be a spare, but I doubt it. I mean, yeah, I mean, you don't, the, things change pretty quickly in this game. I think you, know, you guys know. I mean, uh, you know, with COVID and everything like that going on, I mean, you really don't know what's going to happen any given day. Things can change quickly. So, um, you know, like I said earlier, it's really just a mindset, I think. Just get your mind right. That, you know, you could be in any night. Uh, you know, get, make sure your body's ready to go. Is, is there a way uh, you, know, you stay on longer practice? You, you know, you do whatever's necessary. But is, is there a way to... Prepare yourself mentally for sitting out, sitting out, sitting out, and being ready to play if, if they tell you the next day. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, um, it, it's not easy. Whether you're out for injury or you're out for a scratch, I think it's always tough being out for a while and then coming back, getting right up to game speed. But I think, um, you know, you try to use your time, you know, that you're not playing the best way that you can, I think, is, is really the only way to go about it. I mean, when you're watching the games, you know, it's easy just to sit there and, and, and have your mind kind of wander a little bit. And I think if you, you know, you try to watch the game with a purpose, uh, you know, see what the team's doing, if they change things up system-wise. I mean, you want to be on top of all that stuff. So if your name's called, you're ready to go. I mean, uh, Coach yesterday was saying, you know, he's got a lot of love and respect for you, obviously. I'm sure you have love and respect for him back. But how does that help with the trust factor in terms of knowing that, okay, I'm not in, but he's still, he's still valued? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what you want to hear. But I think at the same time, I mean, uh, we're all professionals. And, you know, I do get in the game, you know, I have a job to do. And I think, uh, you know, going out there and executing that is a way that you earn that trust and you earn that, uh, you know, respect from your team. Um, so, you know, that's what I'm going to look to do. Next game I get in, I'm going to look to, you know, keep earning that trust and keep building that back. What, so what is your, um, what do you think that the things are that you specifically have to do? You know, you're obviously a big body. Um, I mean, is playing physical um, part of it, or is it just kind of, you know, going out of your way to be physical, or is it just kind of do what the game still comes to you? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I always try to be physical every game. I mean, some games it, it seems like it's there more than it's not. And I think that's, <clears throat> excuse me, a big thing is is just, uh, you know, letting that come to you a little bit. And I think if you try to, you know, go out of your way to make something happen, I mean, usually that's when bad things happen. So I think it's just keeping my game simple, um, especially if I've been out for a while. It's just making that first pass out of the zone, strong in front of the net. I think those are those are key areas for me. When you went down um, on the conditional assignment, um, What's your mindset when you go down there? And then what's the experience like? I mean, you know, does it help you to just, I mean, even if it's a lower level, does it help you to get into some games? Yes, I mean, it's nice. I mean, you don't want to be playing down there. I mean, you want to be up here playing, obviously. But, uh, you know, you go down there for a purpose. Um, you know, I want to go down there and work hard. And they have a great group down there. They do, you know, coaching staff was great. Team was great. Uh, so you kind of fit uh, fit in there pretty seamlessly. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a mindset is just to get the reps in. I mean, the reps that you were missing uh, up here when you're not playing a lot, I think is, you know, to get touch the puck and, and get some reps in, play lots of minutes and start feeling good about your game again. How does it affect your role if you're playing with a young guy, it looks like you were paired with Lundqvist at practice yesterday. I mean, is that does that enter in at all for you as far as helping him along or, or how you'll play next to a guy like him? No, I've been I've been impressed by Nils. I mean, ever since training camp, I think he, he, you know, he has a lot of composure for a young guy and it seems that, uh, you know, he always makes a good smart play. Um, you know, I think there's another guy that's just, you know, wants to get comfortable and then maybe his game will start opening up a little bit more. And so, um, you know, if I'm playing with him, I just want to make sure he's as comfortable as possible to be, you know, the player that he's going to be out there. You know, if he wants to, you know, take a little bit more risk and try some things, I mean, he's an offensive player, then, then let him know that I'll, I'll be there to back him up. Did you feel like you could be a good compliment in that regard to, to let him maybe use those skills and push forward and you're a guy that will protect the back end? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, I think if, if he wants to try and, uh, you know, he has that offensive element to his game. I mean, uh, you know, I want him to, you know, play the way, you know, he's comfortable playing. And, uh, you know, him knowing that, that I'm back there and uh, kind of holding down the fort a little bit, I mean, maybe that gives him a little bit more freedom. He can play a little bit looser, do the things he needs to do.